I'm going to play a song. I'm going to dedicate this to a gentleman called Joe Perkins, who's also been sick, and he asked for this song. Um, also been sick, like like Arsenal was sick or something. Um, it's called Human, and, uh, and it goes it goes like it goes like this.
sorry, I'm being really... Uh, can you talk to me on Ustream? Can you translate the Ustream? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Do you, want to do, do you want to do some question and answers from Ustream? Yeah, let's do, I'm going to do question and answers from Ustream. Or Twitter cam, you can choose. Or Twitter cam, I, I glance across, I glance across occasionally. Oh look, I need to move that up. Oh, better in today <laughs> saying let's throw fire extinguishers until the arena notices us. Because all the regulars are oh, there. Oh no, I, no, no, I am aware that they're there. I know. Have you made the invitations for the gold tickets? Yes, they're in the post to you tonight. That's Dom though, he didn't answer my email. Yes Dom, there's a blank one coming your way. Everybody else was very good and told me who their guest would be, I think. Then somebody else didn't tell me who their guest was. Right. So what I've done is I've addressed it, I've written it, and I've put a little black line and you so you just put your friend's name there. Oh yeah, um, Michael East didn't they? Michael East, no I know Michael, so. that's okay. So I've written dear. Blah, 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 and you can fill it in as is your want. Um, well, they went first-class post tonight, my friends. Every single one of them is now winning its way to you. Um, hopefully I didn't get the addresses mixed up, because I was being postmistress today, and I'm not really organised at the best of times, and I currently have baby brain, and last night, or the night before, I left the keys in my front door, in our front door, for the fourth time in the last few months, overnight. Anyway, somebody was delivering stuff, and we went out. Did we go out? No, somebody knocked at the door. We thought it was Jehovah's Witnesses at 9 o'clock on Sunday morning. It was a delivery of something else. And uh, um, there's nothing wrong with your Jehovah's Witness just saying that. It's just that there's a the funny thing about why do Jehovah's Witnesses think they're going to convert people on the one day of the week when most people are having a lie in? And why do they choose to do it so early in the morning? Kids, if you're a Jehovah's Witness, you're not going to win any converts doing that. That's just like stupid. Um, Paul, uh, Paul wanted to know what about the silver tickets. Silver tickets, that was the deal, kids. You don't get an invite, it's such you. But, but um, oh, yes, do you know what? We need to inform silver tickets people. Oh, that's the. That's the same. It's already sorted. They already know what to do. They know the time to come. The company that organised the tickets. Oh, the company that organised the tickets is letting you know what time you should turn up. In the I, gold experience tickets, I let you know what time to turn up. You just turn up to the venue, you can bring your invitation, you don't have to bring it because your name is on a list as long as you, you know, tell them what the name is. Um, and um, such like. Very good. Um, Hello, Twitcam people. Any questions from Twitcam people while I read this? Any questions? Is it going to be a similar gold event in Scotland any time? Yes, possibly. What we're thinking of doing is... Um, haggis. Haggis, haggis, yes. I will, I will cook your haggis. I don't think so, somehow. Um, I'll make it short, Red, right, though. Um, what's going to happen is... Um, we're going to... This is an experiment, really. And we're going to see how it goes. Um, the uptake's been extraordinary. I, I was a bit... We were a bit nervous about doing it because we weren't sure whether people would really want to come and spend a couple of hours with me and all well, that was like they just want to hear me sing and then we can't dish up fuck off. But um the update's been really good and we're gonna see how it works logistically. I wanna make sure everybody feels like it's worthwhile and I do want feedback from everybody. Um and the thing is the, the whole point I, I I mean I see these packages, other people selling these be more poo packages. But and all it is is a glorified booking preference. It's the way ticket master saying look we'll give you better seats. And you might get it says meet and greet brackets where possible. So I've heard all sorts of stories about people paying 150, 200 quid to go and see somebody. And um, and they get there and their meet and greet you know, doesn't happen. There's a there's a guy called um, oh, what's his name? Bob Lessence. He's an American music business blogger, he's a lawyer. And he wrote I remember being forwarded it a few months ago, he wrote about the Bon Jovi VIP ticket experience, which I have to say hasn't tempted me recently. But, you know, when I was a massive fan back in the day, I would have totally gone for it. And it's a complete swoop to the tune of thousands of dollars. Um, and it's really damaged them. This is just really cynical. I'm going on the ground. I'm talking about rubbish. But, so, yeah, to answer your question, <laughs> yes, we're thinking about doing it. This is a guinea pig one. We don't want to do them willy-nilly. They'll have to be something associated. So what we can do is do them, if we do a tour in the winter and it happens to be Christmas, we'll do Christmas for and we'll tend to do the new big cities. Um, because when you get to little cities, as you may well know, if you are a fan of mine, you get to little cities, 
It's very easy to come and hang out with me. It's just the bigger cities, the shows are bigger. But this was a way of breaking it all into me. So we may well run do you know, I keep meaning to come to Newcastle. We were meant to go to Newcastle in the spring, weren't we? But the dates, we had on we had pencil dates at the stage in Gateshead. Um, and then they put in a big production and scrapped about 20 dates people had put in. So we all had every intention. I'm sorry we didn't make it. The, um, there is an animal theme for dates album, yes. 